Oh my god. Look at how stinking cute this picture is. Oh, this was drawn by Saito Yakushi and it's so, so cute. And I love the coloring style. It's me as a mermaid. Oh, sorry. I just love everything about this. Even the border is cute. We've got a cute gradient there. Oh, cute pose. Thank you so, so much if you're watching this. I freaking love this. This crack behind my desk is the devil. Uh, this ruler fell down behind there like a few months ago and I just retrieved it because I have this piece of cardboard back here and I basically used it to press the ruler against the side of my desk and like drag it up. So thankfully that worked. Then there was also this that fell behind there maybe like a couple weeks ago. It just has my art syringes in it. But luckily, the piece of wood was angled against the wall, and this fell kind of nestled between the desk and the cardboard, not wood, cardboard. And so I just, like, reached down and was able to grab it. But oh, this is, like, the death trap for my art supplies. So I just did a quick little cleanup here of my desk because it was a mess. And I actually sorted all my pencils because they were just strewn all over the desk. And then I knocked the pack of scholars on the ground, and they were everywhere. So then I had to sort them out and... I had to sort out the scholars and separate them from the premieres and it just like, took forever and then I just kind of tidied up the rest of this so that I have a clean working space and I'm going to have to start showering soon and getting ready because it is our staff Christmas party tonight so I'm going to be going to that and I'm kind of torn part of me is kind of excited part of me just does not want to go and I just want to stay home but pretty much everyone's going and I already said I would go so I'm going to go to that tonight and yeah. So I spent most of my day just cleaning the apartment and vacuuming and all that fun stuff and now I have to clean up this mess and get ready for the staff party. I'm mostly excited for food and free drinks and free food. It'll be so yummy because I don't have a whole lot of food right here right now because I don't want to buy too much because I'm going home in a week and so I don't want to buy new groceries but I'm very limited as to what I have right now. Hey guys, so I'm all ready to go to the office party. And so I have on some brown shoes, just like a metallic-y brown. And I didn't feel like wearing heels, so just wearing flats with a very, very tiny heel. And then some black tights, and then I've got on this light blue dress with belt and cardigan. And then on my head I have this headband. I actually made it. It has like a button on it and a bow made out of ribbon and then seashells glued onto it and different colored beads. And then for earrings, I just have a gold ball and a little pearl. And then this is my necklace, which kind of matches my headband by coincidence. I didn't make this one. Um, I just kind of got seashells and just kind of beachy looking. So yeah, that is my whole outfit for tonight. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, and I'm wearing these ginormous lashes. Uh. All right, so I'm going to head out now and I'll try to film some stuff there. So... It should be exciting. I'm mostly excited for food because I'm really hungry right now. Not terribly hungry, but mostly thirsty. Thirsty and hungry. All things. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, my camera cannot see in this darkness. I'm eating all the ketchup chips. I'm just getting home from the party and I really could not film anything there because it was dim lighting and then when you try to film it looks even darker on camera <laughs> so it's just like impossible plus it was a little awkward to be filming because everyone would be like why are you whipping out your camera because it's not like there were a ton of people there there were probably between like probably maybe 40 to 50 people there and I didn't even know most of the people there I knew like the four people that work in my office and my two bosses and like the girl who does the printing side of things that's the only people I knew and there was I mean I did talk to like meet a lot of new people and talk to people I didn't know okay it's dark hold on so I did meet a lot of new people and like kind of socialize but it was really awkward for the first while because okay it was set to start at seven o'clock I didn't get there till around 7 30 and uh, I was waiting for these two girls from my office to show up and uh, one of them did not show up at all. Cat, shame on you. <laughs> and then the other girl did show up, but she didn't show up till around nine o'clock. I'm just gonna sit down. <laughs> she didn't show up until nine o'clock. And so it was just like that first 
like hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes was just like pure awkwardness. <laughs> so it was like a little weird at points. But then once Andrew was there and she brought a friend, so it was like the three of us kind of like hanging out and talking with people. So after that, it was pretty fun. And then when those two decided to leave, I decided to leave because I'm like, I'm not staying here. And it is, I think it was around 10.45 when we left. I don't know, where's my phone? Anyways, so I just got home and it's sometime past 11. It is 11.23. Oh, my mustache is on the back of the phone. <laughs> they had mustaches there. Other than the ones I showed, they had some like normal guy mustaches and they had these weird pink ones for the girls, which just looked really weird because they're all super thin. But yeah, I just had some drinks, had some food. They got catering from this taco place. I don't know what it's called, but it was really, really good. And then, yeah, free food, free drinks. They had chips, ketchup chips, mm -hmm. <laughs> and other chips too, but I only ate the ketchup chips. I think I was the only one eating the ketchup chips. I just kind of like cleaned out the bowl. Not really, but I ate a lot. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty fun. And I got a goodie bag. I kind of peeked in it. But I haven't really, so I'm going to go through this with you guys and open up all the stuff inside. Oh, and when I was leaving, one of my bosses, because my two bosses are husband and wife and they're the, they run the company, it's their company. And um, she gives me the hug goodbye and she's like, goodbye mermaid. And I'm like, you know how to butter me up, don't you even <laughs> say that. But if you call me a mermaid or say my hair looks mermaidy, I'm just like instantly like you. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's inside the baggie, which is coming apart. I didn't realize that it's going to break. Oh, hello. My mirror's in my kitchen because I was using it to show my outfit earlier tonight. Anyways, let's get on to this goodie bag. Um, it's comic book stuff because I work for a comic book publisher who also has recently gotten into animation in the last, like, three years-ish. So they print comic books and they animate stuff. So... Yeah, that's why there's comic books in here. So here's the Cade book. I wanted this book because we have it displayed in our office and it's hardcover. It's got really nice art. I haven't read it yet. So that is so sweet that I have this in my hands. So I'm going to read that later. Not tonight, but sometime. Then, let's see. We have <laughs> this. Got my signature on the back. Not really my signature, just my name. In cursive. Arcana. Happy holidays. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, what's this? Brunts. I've not even heard of this one. <laughs> cool looking though. Kind of army related. Interesting. And the Steam Engines of Oz. I do know about this one, but I haven't read any of it. I haven't read any of Arcana's books really, except for Pixie's. I think, yeah, Pixies is the only one I read. Except the movie we're working on right now. So I have no idea what this one's about. It's about, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's basically like Wizard of Oz, but steampunk. So, yeah. And... The Intrinsic. This is what I was working on this week. Or not this book, but The Intrinsic. I was working on a different Intrinsic comic book. I wasn't drawing, I was doing CG stuff which is then going to be painted over by this amazing artist. So that'll be interesting to read because I actually know who all these characters are! Yay! <laughs> okay, so the last thing is these. Kagagi, this is a TV show that we're working on. I'm not working on it anymore, but I did some layout for this and some animation. So that's going to be coming out on APTN. Pixies! Ah! Are these stickers or are these? I think these are stickers. This is Sam. He's one of the main characters. He's not the main character. He's the main pixie character. This is a movie we're working on right now. But I'm not going to tell you anything about it because I don't think I'm allowed to. <laughs> and a candy cane! Yay! So that's my goodie bag from the party. Ugh. They cut my sticker crooked. I demand a new one! Now I'll just trim it. <laughs> Doesn't matter that his ear got cut off. I'll just trim it on this side. And on the bottom. His wings aren't supposed to look like that. It's, they're supposed to be transparent. I don't know. It's just a sticker. I think my hair looks better now than it did before because the curls have kind of relaxed a little. 
Hmm. <laughs> I just really like my hair right now. Whenever I curl it, I feel like I need to go out and do things. Um, my coworker Andrew and her friends, they were going out after, but I just wasn't in the mood to go out. And now I'm kind of like, well, maybe I could have. I do feel like just staying here, but just simply because I'm dressed up, I feel like I should have went out, even though I don't feel like going out. But how oh, well, I guess it'll just be cute in my vlogs. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Probably should work on my dad's picture because tomorrow I want to basically get some Christmas shopping done and work on my dad's picture. And the shopping is going to take up most of the day. So I'm going to try my bestest to get all of my Christmas shopping done tomorrow. It's going to be a challenge. Seven days until I go home. Ew. My nails look kind of nasty because all the spices from the ketchup chips went under my nails. <laughs> it was worth it. I don't know if you guys saw these in my workstation video or not. So there's a the headband I'm wearing. And then I did a different one, which I don't like as much. But I was trying to use this bead thing, and it looked best if it was sticking forward. But then the bow sits sticking straight up, which is okay. But I just didn't like it as much as the one I'm currently wearing. And then I also have hair clips. Very mermaidy looking. They've got seashells and different beads. And super, super cute. So I got a couple of those I made, and I have some necklaces, I just haven't put chain on them or anything. And I was actually planning on kind of sort of mass producing this stuff, and I just never got around to it. But I think it's super cute and super mermaidy. I've also been painting seashells. These are seashells I found at the beach, but they're kind of off-white, and so I paint them with a white pearly paint. And I just basically try to make a bunch of mermaidy looking accessories. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so far I'm just wearing them, but yeah. I'm just tumbling and trying to peel off my eyelashes, and this one will not come off. Oh, this is why I don't like false eyelashes when you go to take them off. It just like feels like you're ripping off all your eyelashes. <laughs> I should probably moisten it with a cloth before I attempt this, but whatever. I managed to get the corner off. I just feel like I'm, I don't want to rip the eyelashes because I reuse them. And I already kind of damaged this one earlier. Oh, 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 got it! Okay, there we go. Yay! <laughs> so I know I said I would work on my dad's picture, but I did not even really realize how late it was. I didn't realize it was nearly midnight when I said that, and now it's past midnight, and then I do feel super tired, so I'm just like... Should I force myself to stay up and work on the picture for an hour or two, or should I just go to bed? <laughs> I just need to get that picture done. I fly home in seven days. Yeah, I think my bed's calling me. I need to get some rest. So anyways, that's it for it. Oh shoot, I have to edit the vlog too, damn it. I was thinking like, oh stop filming, go to sleep. Totally forgot I still have to edit this vlog. So anyway, good night guys. <laughs> One last thing, I'm scrolling through the blog of this guy, he's an animator at Disney, and this guy, this guy, were the two of the people at the presentation yesterday. <laughs> it's weird, it's like seeing a familiar face, even though I really don't know them personally. I feel kind of badass because I'm in all black with my spikes. Oh yeah, I am ready to rock the town. Better watch out Disney, here I come. <laughs> So I'm leaving now, and this is the point where I don't think I'm going to film until I get back. So see you guys after the presentation! So I just got back from the presentation!